Hello and welcome to my general knowledge multiple choice quiz. There are 25 questions, a few of which are trivia. You'll have around 10 seconds to answer each. I hope you enjoy and good luck. Number one, Valletta is the capital of which country? Cyprus, Malta or Bulgaria? It's the capital of Malta. Number two, what substance is mass produced by the Bessemer process? Glass, alcohol or steel? The answer is steel. Number three, since the first modern Olympic games in 1896, how many times has a competition been canceled? Two, three or four? And it's just the Summer Olympics. It's been cancelled three times. Number four. In which decade did the Sydney Opera House open? 1930s, 1940s or the 1950s? It was opened in the 1950s. Number five. In which film did Marilyn Monroe's white dress famously billow as she stood on a subway gate? The Seven Year Itch? Some like it hot, or gentlemen prefer blondes. The film was The Seven Year Itch. Number six. If a compound is ferrous, what does it contain? Silver, iron, or gold? It contains iron. Number seven, which of these animals is known as a leveret if it is less than one year old? A hare, a ferret, or a badger? It's a hare. Number eight, what is the highest mountain peak in North America? Mount Logan, Denali, or Pico de Orizaba? It is Denali. Used to be known as Mount McKinley. Number nine, the Oder-Neisse line is an unofficial term for the modern border between Germany and which other country? France, Switzerland or Poland? And good job if you said Poland. Number 10, in the world of sales, the initials ABC stand for always be what? Cautious? Closing or confident? Stands for always be closing. Number 11. With which branch of Christianity is John Wesley associated? Jehovah Witnesses, Mormonism or Methodists? It is Methodist. Number 12. Which outlaw had a horse called Black Bess? Dick Turpin, Robin Hood, or Rob Roy? That was a horse of Dick Turpin. Number 13. The author Eric Arthur Blair was better known by which pen name? George Orwell, Charles Dickens, or Ernest Hemingway? He was known as George Orwell. Number 14. Hypertension is a technical term for what? High blood pressure, a stroke or a sprained wrist? It is high blood pressure. Number 15. John Quill is a shade of which colour? Blue, yellow or red? It's a shade of yellow. Number 16. Where on your body would you wear a busby? On your feet, around your neck or on your head? You would wear it on your head. Number 17. Which of these wars took place between 1846 to 1848? The Second Boer War? 
the Anglo-Zulu War or the Mexican-American War. It was the Mexican-American War. Number 18. From which animal does the cooking fat lard come from? Sheep, cow or pig? It comes from a pig. Number 19. Titan is the largest moon of which planet? Saturn, Uranus or Neptune? It's Saturn. Number 20. Ride of the Valkyries and Bridal Chorus are pieces of music by which composer? Chopin, Bach or Wagner? They are by Wagner. Number 21. On a weather map, what shapes are attached to a line to denote a cold front? Circles, squares or triangles? The answer is triangles. Number 22. Which animal's head did the Egyptian god Anubis have? A crocodile, an ibis or a jackal? He had the head of a jackal. Number 23. Which author wrote the children's book Green Eggs and Ham? Dr. Zeus, Roald Dahl or Eric Carle? It was written by Dr. Zeus. Number 24. Between 1642 to 1644, Blaise Pascal invented the world's first what? Telescope, calculator or watch? The answer is calculator. And there it is. Number 25. The pink river dolphin, also known as Botto, is found in which of these rivers? The Amazon River, the Yangtze River or the Congo River? It's in the Amazon River. Now for a bonus question, just a bit of fun. Can you name the film title from this movie poster that's had all of the text removed? If you think you know it, tell me in the comments below. So that's the end of the quiz. Big thank you for playing, truly is appreciated. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please click the like button and to subscribe, please click on the logo. Have a lovely weekend. Thank you again and bye bye.